Hello, it's Friday, April 21st of 2023, and today I'm on a Silver Line train on the way to Loudoun Gateway, which I consider to be the DC Metro's loneliest station. Loudoun Gateway Station is the penultimate stop on the newly opened Silver Line extension to Ashburn and sits just after Dulles Airport Station when approaching from the city. The station was built as a park and ride and is located in the middle of a highway interchange, which doesn't provide much room for potential future development. There is nothing of note near the station other than the Dulles train yard, but you can't even walk to it. There is no town center nearby and no major stores either, and the closest houses are about two miles away. <laughs> Opening. So I'm gonna go to the mezzanine now and then I of course need to check out the parking garage as it is the biggest attraction in these parts. These sound barriers at least really help block the sound of the highway from the station platform so that is appreciated. I'm gonna take one of the elevators up. up. I'm wondering why there are two elevators here. Like, I feel like the station is way overbuilt for its purpose. There's also four bathrooms, which are always welcome, but four is a lot for this station. Here's the inside of one of the bathrooms. They are very nice and clean, and it seems like they're cleaned twice a day or so. What a pleasant walking experience along this bridge. It's nice and quiet. It's not a highway under us at all. I feel like Loudoun Gateway has to be one of, if not the least used station on the DC Metro, as I've barely seen anybody here, but sadly there aren't any recent statistics, so I can't know for sure. Also, these benches must be nice to sit on with all the planes and cars and stuff. Wait, I'm just gonna measure the decibel levels here, one second. So we've got about 70 to 80 decibels, which isn't that bad, but it, they're not pleasant sounds either. I just feel like the more I explore this station, the more questions I have. Like, why is there a surface parking lot here that no one's ever gonna use? Because there's a bigger parking garage nearby. And why are there so many bus bays if there's only three rush hour routes that stop at this station? Like, this is way too overbuilt. There's also some bike lockers if you wanna bike on like the two lane road here with no shoulder. Here's what you've all been waiting for, the Loudoun Gateway Station Parking what everybody here sees when they first arrive. Also, for the record, there are like 300 spots available on each level, which is like 1,800 available spots. At least there are EV charging ports and accessible spots. Well, there have to be accessible spots, but the EV is nice. Now I just gotta go to the top and see what it's like. This one. Six. Why is it six stories? That's too many stories for a parking lot. At least you get a nice view of the metro below. Wow, it is very echoey in here. <laughs> so here's the top floor. As you can see, the top floor is very well utilized with approximately zero cars parked here at this time. I wonder what the cost benefit was to CO2 pollution of building this parking lot for everybody to drive here instead of driving to work. Like, I feel like building this parking lot produced more CO2 than just everybody driving to work for 20 years straight, but I'm not sure. This is probably a good place for plane spotting. Like, you can see the Dulles Tower from here. Ah yes, good thing there are spots reserved for the fuel-efficient vehicles, as there aren't really any spots available. Oh wait. This place should be like super busy now. It's 2 p.m. on a Friday. Everybody should have come here in the morning and parked and taken the Metro to work, but that hasn't really worked out, at least so far. I don't think it ever will. Maybe I'm just being a pessimist. There's also some more cycle racks for the uh, many cyclists that are definitely gonna cycle here. So I made it to the main road. As you can see, it serves uh, many businesses here and uh, different local stores. It's nice to have a Metro station near these sort of places. So yeah, I feel like that's it for this station, really. I'm just still wondering, like, is this station really necessary? Like, couldn't anyone driving here just drive to Ashburn one stop down or Dulles the other way? Was it a waste of money? I'm not sure. I just feel like this happens in North America all too often where a station is built with just a big parking lot next to it and nothing else. And that really limits development and doesn't help for much ridership either. 
you could probably fit thousands of people in an apartment building the size of this parking garage that could all majorly benefit from the very nice metro access. But instead, you're just supporting the suburbanites who drive everywhere and drive here, some of them, to take the metro to work. But yeah, that's all from me for today. Hope you guys all enjoyed watching and see you in the next video.